The Terminator Saga in 5 minutes. Everything you need to know about the story so far. Spoiler alert! The year is 2029, although it's also 1984. Stay with me. Two naked time travelers from 2029 arrive in 1984 LA. One is a Terminator T-800 sent to knock off a woman named Sarah Connor. The other is Kyle Reese, a soldier sent back to knock up Sarah Connor. The Terminator kills punk rock Bill Paxton and steals some clothes. Reese commandeers a pair of pants from a homeless man. So he fades the cops and sets about finding Sarah, who's working as a waitress. After tooling up, the Terminator begins to terminate every Sarah Connor in LA and tracks the right Sarah to a nightclub. Luckily, Reese is there and fights off the T-800. Reese explains he's a time traveler and that in the future, an AI defense network called Skynet will become self-aware and wage nuclear war against mankind. He explains Sarah's unborn son John is the leader of the future resistance and the key to humanity's victory. The Terminator attacks but retreats when the police intervene. While the detectives assure Sarah that Reese is crazy, in technical terminology, he's a loon. The Terminator comes searching for her. I'll be back. And massacres everyone. Sarah and Reese escape, and Reese confesses that he's been in love with Sarah ever since John gave him a photograph of her in the future. They subsequently get busy, even though Reese has been wearing that hobo's pants for like well over a day at this stage. The Terminator assaults the pair again, and although all its flesh is burned away in a tanker explosion, continues its pursuit. Reese is killed trying to blow it up, but Sarah finishes it off by crushing it. You're a terminated fucker. Several months later, while a pregnant Sarah is traveling through Mexico, she purchases a Polaroid of herself, the same photo John will give Reese in the future. Now it's 1995, although it's also still 2029. We hear Sarah explain the events of Judgment Day, August 29, 1997, and describe Skynet's attempts to destroy John Connor via time travel. Once again, a nude T-800 arrives in the past and immediately acquires clothes, boots, a motorcycle, and some bitchin' sunglasses. Another time traveler also materializes, knocks out a cop, and reappears in his uniform. Ten-year-old John Connor is living with foster parents as Sarah is locked up in an institution. We're also introduced to Miles Dyson, who's working with a Terminator arm recovered from the attack on Sarah Connor in 1984. When the T-800 and the other time traveler both confront John, it's revealed that the T-800 is here to protect John. After John and the T-800 evade their attacker in a spectacular chase, the T-800 reveals that future John reprogrammed him to protect John's younger self, and that their attacker is a T-1000, an advanced liquid metal Terminator. After linking up with Sarah Connor, Come with me if you want to live. and teaching the T-800 to swear and smile, they convince Dyson of the threat of Judgment Day and bust into Cyberdyne to destroy all traces of Terminator tech. Dyson is shot but triggers an explosion that destroys the lab and his research. The T-1000 then pursues John, Sarah, and the T-800 into a steel mill. The T-1000 and the T-800 battle, but eventually the T-800 blasts the T-1000 into a vat of molten steel, killing it. After destroying the chip and arm of the original Terminator, the T-800 insists he too must be destroyed. See, kids? This is why your dad was sniffling in Big Hero 6. I am satisfied with your care, Terminator. Yeah, but I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <clears throat> we now cut to 2004. Judgment Day didn't happen in 1997, but Sarah Connor is dead because Jonathan Mostow never watched the director's cut of T2. John, paranoid about the future, lives off the grid and has also forgotten how old he was when the T-1000 tried to kill him. They tried to murder me before I was born. When I was 13, they tried again. You were 10, you idiot! Seriously, did you guys even watch T2? At any rate, unable to locate John, Skynet sends a new, highly advanced Terminator, the TX, back to kill the other important members of the future human resistance instead, including John's future wife, Kate Brewster. Uh-oh. Again, the resistance sends back a reprogrammed Terminator for protection, and as usual, the Terminator acquires clothes and some bitchin' sunnies upon arrival. The TX locates John and Kate, but they escape with the help of the Terminator. The Terminator is adamant that Judgment Day is inevitable and will begin that day, but Kate orders it to take them to see Kate's father, who is in charge of Skynet. The Terminator then reveals that it successfully killed John on July 4, 2032, and that it was Kate who reprogrammed it and sent it back in time. Unfortunately, they're too late to stop Kate's father from activating Skynet, which begins to take over. He's mortally wounded by the TX, but gives John and Kate the location of Skynet's core. The TX corrupts the Terminator, but it's able to reject it, allowing John and Kate to escape. 
The TX chases John and Kate to the bunker, but is stopped by the Terminator, which sacrifices itself to destroy the TX. You are terminated. Inside, however, John and Kate discover Skynet has no core, and the bunker is a fallout shelter. Judgment Day begins, billions die, and John begins his first moments as a leader of the Resistance. Cut back to 2003, and death row inmate Marcus Wright has just signed over his body to Cyberdyne following his execution. In 2018, 14 years after Judgment Day, John Connor is part of a Resistance raid on a Skynet facility where they discover human prisoners and plans for a new type of Terminator covered in living tissue, the T-800. John is the only survivor of the raid, but a confused Marcus later emerges from the wreckage too. John returns to Resistance HQ where he learns he is second on an intercepted list of Skynet targets. The first is Kyle Reese. Meanwhile, in LA, Marcus is saved by a young Kyle Reese, but unfortunately Reese is captured by the machines. Marcus links up with a Resistance pilot who says she'll introduce him to John Connor, but Marcus is wounded by a magnetic landmine at the base and discovers he is a cyborg! Ah! He's captured, but he escapes, saving John in the process. The two agree to help each other rescue Reese and the other prisoners. Marcus rips out the chip, linking him to Skynet, and helps John battle the new Terminator T-800. He eventually succeeds, but not before John is stabbed through the heart. They all escape the facility before it explodes, but John's wife Kate can't repair his heart. Marcus offers John his heart, sacrificing himself to save John. This battle has been won, but the war against the machines rages on. And that brings us back again to 2029, where the fifth John Connor in as many films has just sent his dad back in time to ensure his own existence. But upon arriving, Kyle Reese finds the original past is not what he expected it to be. And Sarah Connor is no waitress. Come with me if you want to live. Man, I need a vacation. Hasta la vista, baby! 